Hi guys, my name is Niha and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 of my favorite drugstore products that are under $10 and they also happen to be cruelty free. My collection is like mostly 80% cruelty free. I'm really trying to get my collection to be 100% cruelty free in the near future. That's just something that's important to me. I'm not trying to force it down your throat. But I do believe that in 2020 there are so many amazing cruelty free products brands and very cheap as well like all the products i'm going to show you let's get right into it so i'm going to be starting off with this elf camo concealer this product is really popular i actually got it because it was so hyped on tiktok and i thought i wasn't going to like it because i have super dry skin but it turns out that it works really great you just have to work in sections with this because it dries super fast also this product is so um matte that you don't need to set it or personally for me i have such dry skin that i don't need to i actually forgot but i'm going to just apply some sunscreen this is a sample that i got at the drugstore also this is my first time filming with this like setup right here so let me know if you like this place and if the lighting is good because i'm like using my ikea lamp <laughs> To film this with hopefully it's not too bad so i have my sponge right here and we're going to like i said work in sections i'm going to be applying this over my problematic areas which are like some breakouts i've been having on my forehead they definitely come in and out uh it's really annoying but it's what i have to deal with as long as i take care of my skin i just tell myself there's nothing more I can do about it. Also, if you can hear some sounds, I'm really sorry, but my mother is not doing good. She is um mad today. <laughs> and she uses cleaning as a coping mechanism. <laughs> so she's always cleaning. <laughs> I'm going to cover here the burn that I have on my chin. This won't completely um, cover it, but it's better than nothing. And I'm just gonna do a second coat and I'm actually going to let this dry a tiny bit This is the only place that I want to do that because I want more coverage and I'm going to apply this also under my eyes I feel like you could use maybe a bit more all these products are also under $10 Canadian I think there's only one that isn't but yeah, all these products are extremely cheap and they're products I actually use in my everyday makeup routine i feel like that says a lot for me because i am very well aware that i'm extremely biased and i love sephora makeup like i love the feel of a luxury product and i'm totally that bitch who buys makeup just for the packaging so when i tell you that i actually gravitate towards these products it's because they're really good like for me to not care about the packaging that means that the product is really good. Oh, and I <laughs> left that concealer on my chin for too long. And that's what I mean when it like has a hard time blending out if you don't work in sections. I also have some breakouts here and some veins here. Pretty much using it all over my face, really. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna go in with this bronzer by Wet n Wild. This was $5.49. I went on their website actually to see if they had more shades because at my drugstore they only carry two shades. To me, like if you're going to carry a product, you might as well just have the whole line because you are discriminating in terms of like accessibility for people of color of darker shades. I think it shouldn't be based on like how many shades you're selling for you to carry it. And these brands work hard to create various shades for all people. So why would you not make them accessible? Anyways, that's just my little rent. Um, so yeah, the shade range is not bad, but it's not good either like they need more shades for darker people yeah it's 2020 let's get to it i'm just going to use this like that this uh bronzer is more of a satin finish so it definitely has a little bit of sparkles in there but once you apply it to the face you can't really see it so it's more like a satin finish i start with my big ass forehead and i use this big powder blush a uh, powder brush I really can't speak today and I just apply it everywhere that you would apply your bronzer and I really love this actually it's one of my favorite products from today's video I go ham with the bronzer <laughs> just because typically I always mess up the shades that I pick for concealers or foundations or BB cream so I'm always like it's fine I'll just correct it with bronzer <laughs> nobody will know and then I personally like a tiny bit of nose contour 
nothing extreme nothing crazy it's just to bring back some dimension in here and i also do it under my lip next i'm gonna be doing highlighter and for some reason as of late i've been doing my highlighter before my blush I don't know why this is the essence pure nude highlight it's a very natural very pretty highlight however again the only problem that i have with this is the lack of shade range i know they just released like a darker shade which is good but two shades really and they also have a holographic shade but i feel like hollow only works for people with fair skin just going to dip that in essence is really bad with shade ranges their complexion products are just not it they really need to work on it and i just apply it in like a c motion i like this very blurry kind of highlight look can you see it <laughs> and this highlight is 4.99 okay next it's time to bring in some color into my face i have two blushes right here they're both really great i'm gonna be starting off with the cream one which is the flower beauty blush balm color drops for cheeks this is the most expensive item in this video and this is 9.99 i also believe that you can only get flower beauty at ulta so it's not available in canada at some point i knew that walmart did carry flower beauty but it was for such a brief period of time i guess it just didn't work that well here it's so sad and mine is in the shade bitten i would say these are dupes for the glossier clout paints let me double check this information actually i feel like this could be like a dupe for the shade haze in the glossier clout paint and yeah they work amazing they're definitely thicker like the formula is nothing alike but the way they end up looking on the skin to me is very very similar actually i i was going to use this with my finger but i have been loving applying my cream blushes with this equal tools blush brush <laughs> oh my god i can't talk yeah i kind of just dip the brush in there and then i go to town and these blushes are highly pigmented i'm just going to remove the excess and blend upwards and i like a little bit of blush on my nose <laughs> that's a lot of blush Okay, I'm back and I had to wait for my cousin to finish her shower, but it's fine. Everything is good now. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild blush on top of it. This is in the shade Mellow Wine. This is $3.49, which is insane. This blush is iconic. It's a classic. Everybody has it, I feel like. These blushes are just incredible i mean they are high quality i believe they actually changed the packaging because i couldn't find it on ulta's website but i did find them on wet n wild's website so okay next i'm going to be doing my brows using the soul palette right here which is the elf bite size shadow in the shade truffles <laughs> Okay, these freckles are really bad. Uh, usually I'm better at doing them. I just, I don't know, today I'm not lucky. Next, we're going to be moving on to mascara. I'm gonna be using this Essence Lash Princess Mascara in the False Lash Effect one. There's like many kinds, but this is the one I'm using. I really like it. It makes my lashes like more on the long side versus like voluminous, but that's personally what I like. 
I forgot I didn't do any eyeshadow. Stupid. I'm just going to run this shade in my crease. Okay, next I have a lot of lip products. These are all my favorite drugstore lip products. I'm going to be starting off with this clear uh, lip gloss. This is the Shine 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 lip gloss in the shade Behind the Scenes from Essence. It's just a, lip, a clear, sorry, it's a clear lip gloss. And this is $3.99. Uh, no, sorry, $3.29, which is amazing. You see all that juiciness. The this is amazing my favorite clear lip gloss is the glossy clear one but honestly this is so much cheaper and it gives you the same look it's really good it's not sticky clearly the shine is there it smells nice uh everything about this is amazing so next i have two lip liners i very honestly do not wear lip liners very often i will only wear them whenever i have to do like a glam kind of look when I feel like a plumped and defined lip is needed. Uh, so whenever I'm doing that, these are the ones I'm using. They're both from Milani and I like the ones in the shade Nude and in the shade Spice. And these are $4.99. <laughs> I'm not going to overline them today just because that requires a lot of effort like I have to go back in with concealer and stuff and I'm just not about that today next is this one in spice and I'm just going to go basically over what I just did but with this one on like my cupid's bow and the bottom of my lip So that's what the lip liners look on their own. I'm going to be applying a lipstick over it. These are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. They have been on YouTube for ever now. They're such a classic ride or die, but they're excellent. They're like, sorry, my camera just cut off. They are the perfect liquid lipstick in my opinion because they are not drying, but they give amazing coverage. And the price of them is $6.50. My personal two favorite shades is london london is my top favorite and then i also do like abu dhabi but today i'm only going to be using london i'm pretty sure this was recommended by uh, desi perkins and while well, everything she recommends i will buy <laughs> if it's not too expensive and i'm going to top it off with this lip gloss again the same one the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss but this one is in the shade happiness in the bottle there is no glitter inside of it it's just a colored lip gloss and it's really really pretty okay. just gonna zoom you out no the other way that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and discovered a few products that you might be interested in. All the products will be linked down below if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!